down to the farmer's market on the weekend and watching a paella cook away for hours has become our weekend entertainment. They're at nearly every farmer's market that I go to, but they can take a long time to cook at home. My next version for you is done in under 20 minutes. It's perfect for midweek cooking, it's full of flavour. So let's get on to it. The first thing we need to do is slice up an onion. So pan on some onion into some hot oil. A good glug of extra virgin olive oil goes in. They love olive oil over in Spanish cooking, so don't be shy with that. All right, just dice or slice up your onion, however you like. Now I am told that paella loosely translates to leftovers, leftovers from the Moorish kings, whatever that means. I think it means they used to use the leftovers in this dish, and that's exactly what you can do at home. Obviously, I've chosen some ingredients here today. I've got some beautiful chorizo, chorizo, like they used to say. I always feel silly saying that. Same as paella, they say paella. We'll just keep it English today. And I've got some prawns and some frozen peas. But obviously if you've got some leftover roast chicken in your fridge, you could pop that in as well. We could all be Moorish kings together. Pinch of sea salt in with the onions. And we just wanna get some color on the onions, which is perfect because we need to do some slicing and dicing while these are cooking away. I've got some capsicums. Colour of the Spanish flag. Those, these will go a deep golden orange colour as they're cooking. And you can slice these as rough or as fine as you like. Just get rid of those little kind of pith bits on the inside. They can be a little bit bitter. A rough dice and these can just go in now. We want to get a bit of colour on them and get them softening down. Alright, classic Spanish ingredient, some chorizo sausage. I'm just going to dice these up into little half moons. You want to slice them small enough so some of the fat's going to render out and create a beautiful flavoured oil in our paella. So pop those in. Now the great thing about paella is it's all done in the one pan. So it's literally just chopping and adding into the pan and stirring. We just want to cook that chorizo down for about four or five minutes until you can see, you can see the fat kind of go translucent and we'll get a beautiful kind of orange colour to the paella and that's that paprika and the spices coming out of the sausage. So we're just gonna cook away and stir here for a couple of minutes. All right, our capsicum and chorizo has softened down. I know why they cook these at the markets because the smell coming off this would attract anyone within a half kilometre radius, I reckon. Smelling very good already. All right, here is where it gets speedy. This is my speedy part. Normally we'd go in with some rice and it would take a good hour to cook the rice. So we're putting a little Mexican twist on this paella. So I've got three snack pots. All right, these cook in mere minutes. So all we need to do is rehydrate them with some stock. I've got some low salt stock here. Just using low salt, just so we can control the salt levels, we can always add a little bit more in. But the rule with salt is you can never get it out of the dish, so I always go low salt. And we need about 500 mils. All right, the stock's in. This is gonna take three, four minutes for the rice to just kind of soak up that liquid. Okay, that stock has all been soaked up by those snack pots. Last two things to go in. I've got 400 grams of prawns. Frozen's fine. If you don't like seafood, you could put some chicken into this or just some extra vegetables. Totally up to you. It's really whatever's lying around in the fridge can go into this recipe. Just like the Moorish King's servants used to do after their banquets. Right, look at that, about 10 minutes to finish off those prawns and the peas, the whole dish has come together. I've got a little serving platter. You could serve it in the pan, but we'll jazz it up a little bit. Onto our serving plate. This is a sharing dish, so easily feed four or six people with this recipe. Look at those prawns, sweet little prawns, really smoky paprika. Alrighty. We'll finish off with some lemon. Seafood and lemon's always a good partnership. Little wedge of lemon as well. Some flat leaf parsley just to freshen up the whole thing and to jazz it up. 
Look at that, it's been 20 minutes or under from go to woe, and I know it's not traditional. We've put a little Mexican spin on a Spanish classic. It could be a new tradition in your home. There we go, fit for a Moorish king, I reckon. Maybe they're servants. <laughs>